Let's get more on what it's like in the Bahamas by getting on the phone now with Valentino Armali. He is a supervisor at the Humane Society in the capital of Nassau. Uh, Valentino, Dorian just seemed to stall there over the Bahamas. What's it been like there? It's, um, it's still breezy here in Nassau. I only can speak for Nassau right now because I know um, down in Freeport and Abaco, it's, it's a disaster. I can't tell you what's going on over there, but I can tell you it's a little breezy over here and it's still out cloudy skies. One story I read earlier today uh, said this, the scale of the catastrophe in the Bahamas is only now being revealed for a shock world to see. We're seeing some aerial footage uh, now of the damage that we're looking at. Um, it, it's devastating. Uh, give me a sense of what people are talking about there. Have you had a chance to get out and talk to your neighbors about just uh, the extent of all of this? Um, like I said, um, the best people to talk about uh, the devastation in the, uh, the northern part of the Bahamas it's the people down, like, in Freeport and Abaco. But me, we, we spoke over here. Mostly we were doing with just friends, for family and friends, down in the other family islands, the Norton Bahamas, you know, to make sure everybody was found and, and who needed rescue was rescued. And right now we still have our fingers crossed and praying that everybody be counted for by tomorrow and just listen to the news and see what's going on. We spoke to you last night. Uh, have things changed much for you uh, in the last 24 hours? Uh, the situation with power, that sort of thing. Uh, what are you seeing? Yeah, the power is back up. Yeah, the Human Society in the area of Bahamas Human Society, NASA, it's back up. All our dogs are accountable for. We were straight. We were straight. We didn't have one more boat. We was on generator for like two days straight. But everything is back to normal here. We are at the Human Society right now. I think some portions of the area are off, but BPL is getting it together now. All our dogs are happy and safe. A story just moved a short time ago from the Atlantic, and it points out this is the second strongest Atlantic storm on record. The article points to more evidence that uh, climate change is making hurricanes more severe. Uh, it's a worrying trend. Uh, does it give, it give you pause living there in the Bahamas at all? Um, yeah, with the climate change, you know, we're in the tropical climate. Um, yeah, our waters are very warm. From I know myself, I always hear people saying that anytime we have a tropical storm comes up in our area, it always go and grow bigger and turn into a hurricane. But this one, I don't know where this one came from. This one is a disaster for us. We hurt plenty of us. You know, I mean, plenty of behaving this morning and crying and just praying, like I told you earlier. So that's all we can do right now, pray and help one another. Lend a helping hand to our neighbors, we are brothers keepers. Uh, speaking of which, you know, you've got literally thousands of structures destroyed. Uh, what do you think rebuilding is going to be like? Uh, and and does, does there need to be a strong international response in your estimation? Yeah, I mean, with the international response, I mean, um, yeah, it, it, it's a very strong response. You know, people from what I care about from the news. People are saying they are coming. They're sending people to go to our other family islands to give help in hand. We have done how people are starting to put donations together to go to Abaco and then go to Freeport. Valentino, thanks so much for joining us on the phone, and, and stay safe there. No problem.